Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Otaku Heaven coming at you with another manga chapter review of Black Clover chapter 37. And this chapter starts off with the betrayal that's going on within the kingdom. Apparently the only reason the people were able to invade was because the magic knights who kept the defense barrier up actually disappeared. So that's why they were able to invade and now the sorcery emperor is under investigation over the whole matter but he didn't tell the kingdom about the magic knight's betrayal but it, the clues are too obvious just to ignore and then we got to see what radis is going through radis is apparently going through a lot of pain because of ass's attack on his face where he cut his face and basically the chick that he states that he wants to kill ass the next time he sees him and the chick that's in the enemies the white knight's demon's eyes I don't think we got her name yet, but she is talking to Raditz. He's like, I held your injuries. What's your problem? He's like, it itches, okay? And um, apparently the two that he killed, the Sorcerer Emperor killed, were named Catherine and Georok. Georok, I don't know how to say it. I don't think that's right. But anyway, um, then we talk about the Sorcerer Emperor's magic. The Sorcerer Emperor's magic was um, a time advancement magic causing things to decay at a super fast rate thus speeding up the time of how old it is really quickly it kind of looked like um crocodiles wa water draining um effect in one piece if you've ever seen that but anyway their whole goal is to create a new kingdom and then we see all we see them all the two guys that he captured all tied up on like a pole or something and they're trying to mind jack them to get all the information they can out of them but there's magic power protecting them protecting them from the mind jack and he's like there's no way we give away anything because they're the only ones that, he's the only one that hasn't betrayed us he's basically our god that's the way they view him as their god and noel wants noel's wants sweets from charmy which i found pretty funny because charmy is um not the type to give away her sweets like that but she did it uh, fairly funny but the way you could tell she's got her whole cinder attitude going on and she gave one to um asta too which is surprising because they didn't ask she's not the type to give away food like that um then she actually refers to you know as the prince prince of feasting she's actually fallen completely in love with juno and right there at after that juno actually attacks asta after asta tells them don't get big headed just because you defeated one guy that don't make you so much that don't make you that much better than me or anything and then he Juno fires one of his big birds at him and Asta obviously blocks it out and it leaves a smoke cloud of writing that um I couldn't really make out what it said but anyway Asta's like you better not throw any more attacks at me like that you better hope it was to defend yourself just by sending that attack to write a couple of letters to me and the guy behind him um the smart looking guy from Juno's crew is like, when did Asta get this much stronger? Asta's like super strong now. And so he's recognizing Asta's advancement in power with the Sylph, and then it's got a little frame of Juno with the Sylph. So maybe the Sylph isn't completely um hidden all the time now. Maybe he can actually walk around with a Sylph, sort of like Asta walks around with Nero, the little bird, that basically says, hey, you ain't got no magic power. And then um basically uh, Ma uh, Magna and luck or given another star or either it was just magna but that luck was like we need to work on our new move and then they have some kind of move where luck um electrifies a tornado or something that magna makes and magna was like no nah, we're not working on that again so obviously something bad happened with that and magna doesn't want to do it anymore but anyway magna got a star for his participation in the kingdom kingdom's invasion and Asta actually got promoted to a lower rank magic knight. There's five ranks of magic knight. You got the sorcery emperor, you got the greater, the upper, the middle, and the lower. And he's a third class lower knight. He's like, Yami goes, so you need to look up to Asta now. You can't talk to him just any way. And then he's, he's like, well, Charmy, Charmy's a first rank. Uh, I'm a, a first rank lower knight. And then she starts getting high headed. She's like, on your knees, bitches. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty freaking funny. And he's like, worship me. She's like, worship me while she's over there dancing. <laughs> They're like, what kind of dance is that? And then um, the Asta's still worried about Leon. He's like, how's Leon doing? He's like, why are you worried about... Yami's like, why are you worried about that? Because 
Leon's not the type of guy to go out off of that, something that easy. He's going to come back even stronger. And then they're like, wait till the, the um, Sorcerer Emperor. And then we're like, wait till the sleeping old lion awakens. He'll have more information for us. So maybe when Leon pops up, we'll get more information on the invasion of the kingdom, who the White Knight's demon's eyes really are, and so on and so forth. But right before the end, um, Yami's ordering Asa to rest, and Asa's like, rest? What's that? <laughs> And he goes, you'll die if you keep on going with your wounds. And Ass is like, oh, I'm not going to rest. Luck's like, well, if you're not going to rest, come clubbing with me. And that was, that was pretty funny. I didn't see Luck as the clubbing type. Luck seems um more or less the type the parties in the guild or something. More or less along the lines of Grey from Fairy Tale. That's the way I see Luck. Luck is pretty much exactly like Grey. But for an image wing chapter, we got a whole lot of information on the invasion and what's um what's stopping them from getting information uh advancements for both asta magna and actually i'm not really sure about if luck got that star as well or not but i'm assuming he did and charmy charmy's charmy's priceless but i don't know that that whole thing with charmy and juno is going to work out if it does it's going to be like eh, i don't want that to work out let's hope that doesn't work out but anyway, this chapter was pretty pretty good, but nothing really happened, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's all, guys. Peace.